Hello, so this is Eleven Physics, and we are going to continue with paper 2021 variant 11 of physics. So, the question number 8 says that a rocket is fired from Earth into space. Newton's third law of motion describes how forces act in pair. One of the force of a pair is the weight of the rocket. What is the other force of this pair? We must know some things regarding Newton's third law that are that the forces are equal and opposite and the second thing is that the forces are of same nature so over here it says that one of the force is the weight of the rocket so what option could it be air resistance force of the exhaust gases force of the rocket on the exhaust gases and the gravitational force so this is a gravitational force the nature is gravitational and over here it's the weight of the rocket so these both are the forces of the same type and they are equal and opposite in direction so the answer is d Question number 9 says that the graph shows how quantity P varies with quantity Q for a body falling vertically downwards in a uniform gravitational field with air resistance P versus Q. Which pair of quantities could be represented by P and Q? So let's do a equation form uh, analysis for this question. That's a straight line. So this would make up the form Y equals minus mx plus C the gradient is negative so let's analyze the situation let's consider this mass which has a weight downwards and air resistance x upwards fe and acceleration x in the direction of weight applying f equals to ma f equals ma the forward force is weight, the backward force is air resistance equals mass into acceleration A. First considering part A, acceleration and air resistance, we have it over here. On y axis is the P, the acceleration. So let's make A the Y. So this becomes M A is equals to minus F A plus W and A becomes minus F A divided by M plus W over M. So comparing it with Y is equals to M X plus C, it's, it makes the same form Y equals negative F A over M plus W over M. So this comes negative M X plus C. So, we can say that part A is the correct answer. <coughs> Question number 10 says that which quantities are conserved in an inelastic collision? In an inelastic collision, only the kinetic energy is not conserved. So, what we can say that the kinetic energy is not conserved, the total energy is always conserved. And the linear momentum is conserved. So the answer is C. The next question says that a charged oil drop is held stationary between two charged parallel plates. Which forces act on the oil drop? This is similar to a Millikan's oil drop experiment. One of the force is the weight because of the gravitation, and the other force is due to the electric field so both electric and gravitational fields act on this oil drop <laughs> so the next question says that which pair of forces form a couple with a torque of 30 newton meter so we have to simply apply the formula torque is distance between the forces r into force so this is equal and opposite direction and are separated by distance 2 meter so this would become 30 into 2 which is 60 newton meter so this would not become the answer part b the forces are in same direction so the, the, uh, it does not become couple so and they are also not equal 
part C, the forces are opposite direction, but they are not equal, so this does not become coupled. In part D, the forces are equal and in opposite direction, so the couple is 15 into 2, 30 Newton meter. So the answer is D. The next question, question number 13 says a uniform rigid bar XZ with a negligible mass of 1.2 meter long, the bar is pivoted at point B. Three coplanar forces act on the bar as shown. Forces of 16 Newton and 20 Newton act perpendicularly to the bar at points X and Y respectively. Force Fx at point Z at an angle 30 degree to the axis of the bar. The distance along the bar of the pivot and the forces are shown. The bar experiences a resultant moment. The bar experiences a resultant moment of 6 Newton meter clockwise direction about P. So the question says what is the magnitude of F? So let's resolve the 30 degree force. So this becomes F cos 30 and this becomes F sin 30. As it says that the resultant moment is in the clockwise direction. So we can say that the sum of clockwise moment minus the sum of anti-clockwise moment is equals to 6. So in clockwise moment we have two forces. The one of the force is 16 which will uh, the pivot is B. So 16 into 0.3 plus f sin 30 into the distance f sin 30 is over here so the distance is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 0 0.9 these are the two forces for the clockwise moment now let's talk about the anti-clockwise there is only one force in the anti-clockwise moment which is the 20 newton force 20 into 0 0.3 minus 20 into 0.3 which become equals to 6. So solving this up for f, this would make up 4.8 plus this would make up half into 0.9. So this would be f into 0.45 minus 20 into 0.3 is 6. So this would be equal to 6. So 0.45 f equals to 6 plus 6 is 12 minus 4.8 and f equals 7.2 divided by 0.45 so the value of f becomes 15 <laughs> newtons so the answer appropriate answer is c the next question says that a water of depth 9 cm is covered by oil of 5 cm in a moving cylinder. The density of the water is 1000 and the density of oil is 800. What is the total pressure exerted on the place of the moving cylinder due to the oil and water? We uh, simply need to add up the pressures because of the densities of water and oil. So because of the water, the height is 9 cm, so rho gh 1010 into 9 into 10 to the power negative 2, it makes up 900 pascals. Now, because of oil, now because of the oil, the density pressure is rho gh, rho is the density is 800, the g value is 10, and the height is 5 cm, so 10 to the power negative 2. So, the pressure because of the oil is 400 pascals. Now, what we need to do is just add these both pressures. So the total pressure is 900 plus 400 so the answer is 1300 pascals so d is the correct answer uh, do like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you